I'm not really sure I like how this goes. Okay. You can't miss that now, buddy. I can, I can move it down to here. I don't know if that would look any better. I don't know if I'm going like... Originally that was my thought, but I didn't put a nice finish. It's got some black marks over here with the antiquing. Well, the thing you're putting in there is a big white... Like air conditioner, you right. right? Could mm -hmm. we buy a piece of that uh, light gold stuff? White gold stuff, that's very generic. Like the beadboard? Yeah, the beadboard? Yeah, we can buy whatever. Well, what are your suggestions? What are some thoughts? That you're going to see from the front. I like the pallet wood idea. I mean, I like that. Why don't you bring that pallet wood in and we'll take a gander at it? You have all different kinds of pallet wood? There's some yeah, lighter variations. I like it when it's kind of staggered and yeah. and mismatched kind of thing. Well, I don't know if you have out. wood and wood. Bring you should bring a couple pieces of flooring in too. Supervising. I feel bad that you're carrying all that. Oh, that's great. Gold. That gold. So some of those screw holes are not gonna cover. But you want another layer on it? Then we just keep adding layers until it's covered? No. It'll be damn close. Some will, some won't. Look at all the pencil marks out of the steel though. Yeah. Oh, those are not from me. Do you think an eraser would take it? Are you getting some out of there? Yeah, cut it. I don't really know what those pencil marks are. <laughs> As you, you, are, you already know that. I'm going to cut the second one without having it on the floor. That trash can. Okay. 
picture of this? 2020, see, stay, stop. Stay, stay. Take a picture of that. Some tubes of those. I just got four and I need another six for the whole. In a big container, like what do you got back there? Yeah. Um, I don't know how many this was. It was the, the size? Yeah, that's the size right there. Well, it's going to be close. It doesn't have enough size in that exact size. Um, this was a 720 count. You have these, is that what you need, or no? That's six by one eight. You want to Okay. Here's some shorter ones, I should say. Right, right up the center. Oh, that would feel real good. <laughs> I got I didn't just take mine and fill it for mine. I didn't know you were empty. I was like, I'm almost empty. I think I need to turn this on. I'm getting cold again. I would say that was definitely. That happened here. Do you know what happened here? It's a hole and then a big gouge. Oh, yeah, I know who that was. What was it? It was your husband that did that. Was it there a, a staple? A nail? Yes. Yeah, it no, came from the back. That was a... I feel like you should be recording me. I'm... You are being recorded. Oh, really? <laughs> Where? Where's the camera? It's in front of you. <laughs> Did you start? <laughs> oh, I better get back in this position. Then. I could use a little help too, just for a minute. I don't want to try to work around that bed frame. Five. Can I get five on this leg and then got my help? <laughs> I gotta equal it out. Where's the flyers at? Besides going a lot harder than the rest of them, can't, I don't know why.
Yeah. I need some of these too. You got your uh, camera? Something similar to this, except longer if possible. You have my drink. Oh, hold on, hold on. You need to be flush on this end. There's a bunch of screws in. I've got screws in my hand. You just gotta get it close and then bring it down. It's gonna fall. And once you get to once it, it's gonna fall. Once it gets to a certain point, it's gonna wanna go. It's bad. It's gotta be close there. Keep going? Well, I don't know. There's lines. There's a line here. I don't know if I'm supposed to be above it or below it. We can adjust it. I'm done with you, babe, I guess, if you want to go. Oh, he's done with me. Did you hear that? He's like, done with me? Get out. Get the full body hand. Move. Okay, so I'm going to build my bed frame now that I don't have to stand. I was worried about having to stand like this. Can you turn that down, too? Yeah. I, I knew that was going to be an issue if we... <laughs> so I'm using this... Uh... <laughs> So it's going to be 80 this way, minus 2 inches, so... It's going to be hard to make sure these are... How do you suppose I should do these back hinges? Whoa, don't be doing oh, an ankle. I almost need a second runner in there. Probably. And then just put your put a small piece of, of plywood. Plywood, there. yeah. Yep. And that way I can But I think you're gonna want some supports in here. You think so? Yeah. I think you're gonna want something. I thought I would have probably one. Yeah. Because your cabinets are going to be on the floor. Your cabinet's not. If you level the bus, you're going to level the floor. Yeah. Like So if you drive it up on blocks or something, the floor is what's going to be level. I think. Yeah. That's all you can do. That's all I can do. So that will make your countertops level if you measure it. Because it'll be, if the floor is level, then the countertops will be level, the beds will be level. Yes, we're going to draw out the floor. That's what we're doing. If we're wrong, well, we're wrong. 
Screwed me on this one.
Hey, good friend's done. Hey, one thing I thought, though, you were going to do, maybe so I'll kind of bring this up. Oh, okay. Cool. You're, weren't you going to make the, like, the bed part 80 inches? And the, the, uh, like, the little knick-knack spot, the remainder? Oh, right. So the, the bed part, um, that's fucked up. What? I mean, but, is it, how you, yeah, there's no space for that now. How are you doing it? No, I mean, all you gotta do is, is, you know, like they're, yeah. they're, if they're, they're like, well, no, I mean, they just won't have access to it, right? If they're, if they have an opening that's like this, yeah. they won't be able to get into it. Maybe. If you cover it, what do you mean? There's going to be a wall here. I don't think we should put a wall. If we want to do anything, There's we should just put like a little rod right here. And do it that way. I think it'll be too closed in. Like lift it up and just stuck, stick, stick, not closed necessarily. It should be opposite ends. So this way comes to be down here and that way comes to be down here. They can throw their special rocks and beach glass and dirty magazines. Hey, but it's time to quit. On that note. Looks good. Well, that's right. Not really. It looks really good. It does, but... No, I mean, just so you got to make a cut. That's not that big of a deal. Just open the window and run this on right out. Huh? Right through your... Right through your... <laughs> Where? Like in the center up here. So I'm gonna put some baskets, and I just want—I don't want them to come oh. fall out. Well, we can shoot that. Sure. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yep. It's real comfortable. We can put sheeting here because it's lined up right with that. So. Okay. Or that. even just like a two by four to the center, whatever's easier. Not two by four, but whatever the whatever's easier. Just so not it won't fall out. But like a little more. What are you? Where are you gonna just put pink foam on the floor? Brian invited us to come hang out with him and Julian tonight. I kind of feel like I want to be social tonight. Social! The camera heard that, right? <laughs> Should I stop the camera? <laughs> rewind. <laughs> you want me to stop it? I mean, it? really, we need to rewind on that. <laughs> Hey everybody, as you can see behind me, we've got some walls that have been put up. Got two bunks built. Got the most of the light switches put up. Got a bunk wall. My middle child is actually going to have this bunk here. And he chose to have a half wall put up. My youngest is going to be on the bottom. And he chose to do just a curtain for his whole area. And my oldest is going to have a bunk over here, which is not built. And he chose to have a half wall as well. And both or all three bunks are going to have gas struts. These ones currently are installed. Yeah, looks good. Got some bunk lights in there. I did add a third shower light. We did 
some more light in the shower because we actually end up making it uh, bigger than we thought we were going to originally. Originally we were going to do just the size of the shower pan, but turns out because of our location of our water bay underneath here, I couldn't put it in that corner over there like I wanted to, so made the shower bigger. No big deal. Kevin got this back wall belt that is almost ready for the mini split to go up, which we have. I just have to get that uh, wall covering up, which we're going to actually do pallet wood on that. There's a piece of it there. We'll do pallet wood on that. Once I get the pallet wood up, then the mini split can go up and I can get that hooked up. Then we'll actually have a heat source in here. So it's coming along good. It is coming along real good. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I posted a video. We've been pretty busy working on the bus. Um, just haven't had a chance to do much for video work, but we've done a lot of progress. So as you can see, we've got all three bunks built. All the interior walls are built. And we're working on doing the, just the rest of the construction of them. My middle son has been actively working on his red cedar for his bunk. He has done all this himself. He is going to be 13 years old and he's done all the work. I told him I would do that last piece up there as well as this last piece up here for him because it's pretty difficult cut. So told him I'd finish those up for him. And then my oldest is in this bunk here. And this bunk is quite interesting. Remove this stuff and I'll show you what I mean by quite interesting. So all three of these bunks, their beds lift up and are on hydraulic shocks. And this is where they're going to store their clothes, which gives them quite a bit of square inches to store their clothes. It's a 76 inches long, which is the size of a twin bed. Uh, they're not as, as deep as a twin bed, they're actually only 30 inches. So they do have uh, less space than a twin bed, but this bunk, I ha only have one shock on there right now. I have a second one on order. And the reason being, I, I put two on the other two bunks, but the reason being is, well, first off, here's a little storage cubby for the boys. All three of them have this. But the reason being I only have one strut on this is because I end up having to put a third strut on the entire bed, which was not something I was planning on doing. And I'm actually gonna put a fourth one right there. So this bunk, the whole bed tilts up. This tilts up. Lots of options here, and the reason why we did that is because this is where the washer machine was going to go. And without having this bunk up, you couldn't actually use the top loader wash machine. So now we'll be able to stand here, put a clothes in there. Um, this we're gonna, this area here, we're gonna probably build a shelf in there, not a shelf, a uh, cabinet. So, but that's that. We got up. Most of our bedroom is done. It's kind of a mess. We got our mini split in. It's almost plumbed. So that'll be up and working here in a couple days. I got these light switches up. I just gotta mount the lights up there. The pallet wall is done. Just finished this wall tonight. We've got this wall left in our bedroom. And then these side walls, which you 
not going to do much underneath the bed. Uh, I'm going to insulate it and put some plywood down, but I'm not even not going to put anything on the side walls there. Um, this side over here, on the other hand, we will put a sheeting on. And then uh, we're almost done in here. I got these mounted. These are our hinges for our bed. Of course, there's gas struts that go on those, which we do not have them on there yet, but those will be on there by the end of the week. Those are good for, I think, like 300 pounds, I think. So, here's where our mini split. Um, uh, what am I calling them? Jeez, a peach. Drawing a blank here. The refrigerant lines. There we go. Refrigerant lines are going down through there. Later on, I'm going to show you how I ran those. That was a that was a feat in itself, but it is coming along. As you can see, we're using a Mr. Cool, but it is turning out excellent. We are getting a lot accomplished. Still a lot left, of course, but there's a lot going on. So I thought I'd give you a little quick tour. I'll post this video later. Again, it's not going to. There's not going to be much on there because I haven't taken much. So, it is what it is. It's starting to look like a house. Continue watching. Thanks, guys.